What happens when the beautiful game turns tragic? In every corner of the globe, football, like a universal language, brings joy, unity, and a sense of belonging. Yet beneath the thunderous applause and the ecstasy of goals scored, there lurks a somber side, a side often overshadowed by the game's glamour and glory. It's the side that reminds us of the human fragility behind each jersey, each pair of cleats. It's the side that recounts the tales of those who, in their pursuit of passion, met with untimely ends on the field. Their stories paint a poignant portrait of the game's sorrowful moments, moments that have left indelible marks on the hearts of millions. We remember them not as mere players, but as heroes who exemplified courage, dedication and love for the sport. Their memory continues to echo across every football pitch, every roaring crowd. Today we delve into the stories of those who left the field too soon. Mark Vivian Foe, a talent lost too soon. The world of football was stunned into silence when Foe, a lion-hearted midfielder from Cameroon, collapsed during a match and passed away. A tragic loss that still echoes in the hearts of fans and fellow players alike. Born in the vibrant city of Yaounda, Cameroon, Foe's journey to stardom was anything but easy. His passion for the game was evident from a young age and it wasn't long before his talent caught the eye of scouts. From his early days in the Cameroon youth system, his rise was meteoric. Foe's tenacity and skill soon found him playing for some of the world's most prestigious clubs. His performances on the pitch were nothing short of spectacular. Foe was known for his powerful runs, his tireless work ethic and his ability to control the midfield, a true general on the field. His presence was always felt, whether he was orchestrating a counter-attack or disrupting the opposition's play. However, on a fateful day in June 23, during the Confederations Cup semi-final, Foe tragically collapsed on the pitch. Despite the best efforts of the medical team, he could not be revived. The world of football was left in shock and a cloud of sorrow hung over the beautiful game. Foe's death sent waves of grief throughout the football community. Tributes poured in from all corners of the globe, a testament to the impact he had on the sport. His number 17 jersey was retired by both his club and national team, a poignant symbol of the loss, but amidst the grief, Foe's legacy continues to inspire. His passion, his drive, his love for the beautiful game lives on in the hearts of those he touched. His story continues to motivate young players, reminding them of the joy, the struggle and the sheer beauty of football. Foe's legacy continues to touch hearts worldwide. His memory serves as a reminder of the fleeting nature of life, but also of the indomitable spirit of football, a sport that, like Foe, showcases the best of human resilience, passion and love. Antonio Puerta, the heart of Sevilla, stopped beating on the field. In the beautiful Spanish city of Sevilla, a tale of passion and tragedy is woven into the fabric of its footballing history. Antonio Puerta, a local lad born and bred in Sevilla, was more than just a footballer. He was a symbol of the city's spirit, a beacon of hope, and an embodiment of the dreams of every young player in the region. Puerta's story is one of a boy who lived and breathed football, progressing through the ranks at Sevilla to become a beloved figure on the pitch. His silky skills, his indomitable spirit, and his love for the game made him a favorite among the fans. Yet his story is overshadowed by tragedy. At just 22 years old, Puerta collapsed on the pitch during a match, a moment that sent shockwaves through the world of football. Despite the efforts of medics, Puerta passed away three days later, leaving behind a city and a footballing world in mourning, but the story of Antonio Puerta doesn't end with his untimely death. Instead, his memory lives on, fueling the passion and commitment of those who knew him and those who admired him from afar. His name rings out in the chants of the Sevilla fans, a poignant reminder of the young man who gave his all for the club he loved. The loss of Antonio Puerta served as a stark reminder of the risks associated with the sport we all love. 
In the wake of his passing, there was a renewed focus on player safety, on the need for immediate medical attention on the pitch, and on the importance of regular health checks for all players. The memory of Antonio Puerta, the boy from Sevilla who lived his dream, continues to inspire. His story is a testament to the power of football, to the bonds it creates, and to the love it instills in the hearts of those who play and those who watch. Puerta's memory continues to inspire Sevilla and football fans around the world. Miklos Feher and Phil O'Donnell, two treasured talents whose sudden departures shocked the world. Miklos Feher, a Hungarian striker known for his infectious smile and lethal finishing, was a joy to watch. His career spanned multiple leagues with stints at top clubs like Porto and Benfica. But on that fateful day in January 2004, during a match against Guimaraes, the unthinkable happened. Feher collapsed on the pitch. Despite immediate medical attention, he tragically passed away due to a cardiac arrest. The football world was left in shock, mourning the loss of such a young and promising talent. Similarly, in Scotland, the tragic death of Phil O'Donnell sent ripples of sorrow across the football community. O'Donnell, a stalwart of the Scottish game, was a beloved figure at Motherwell Football Club. Known for his tenacity and leadership on the field, he had a career that spanned over two decades. However, in December 2007, during a match against Dundee United, O'Donnell collapsed on the pitch. His sudden death from heart failure was a devastating blow to the football world. The sudden and shocking departures of these cherished talents left a significant impact on the football community. Both players were in their prime. Their careers cut short in the blink of an eye. Their tragic losses served as a stark reminder of the physical demands of the sport and the potential risks involved. But beyond the shock and sorrow, Feher and O'Donnell's legacies live on. Their dedication to the beautiful game, their commitment to their teams, and the joy they brought to fans around the world will never be forgotten. They are remembered not only for their skill and talent on the pitch, but also for their sportsmanship, their passion, and their love for football. Feher and O'Donnell's legacies remind us of the fleeting nature of life. And through their memory, they continue to inspire generations of footballers, reminding us of the importance of cherishing every moment, both on and off the pitch. In the wake of these tragedies, football has evolved. A sobering realization, yet one that inspires hope. The losses of Marc Vivian Faux, Antonio Puerta, Miklos Feher and Phil O'Donnell have not been in vain. They have catalyzed changes, leading to advancements in player safety and medical technology. The football world has learned hard lessons, but it is these lessons that have spurred progress. Imagine a time when a player's heartbeat was merely monitored by the rhythm of the game, when the panting breath was the only indicator of exhaustion. Now, we live in an era where every player is wired up, their vitals monitored in real time, ensuring that any abnormalities are flagged at the earliest. The introduction of defibrillators at every stadium is a significant development. These life-saving devices are now as common as corner flags, ready to be utilized at a moment's notice. This is a direct response to the heart-wrenching incidents that have occurred on the pitch, a proactive measure to prevent similar tragedies. Medical checkups have also become more stringent, with numerous tests conducted to certify a player's match fitness. These include stress tests, EKGs, and even genetic screenings aimed at detecting any underlying conditions that might pose a risk. The football organizations are not just promoting player well-being, they are championing it. The gravity of these losses has also seen a shift in the attitudes towards player workload and mental health. The culture of playing through the pain is being challenged, and the importance of rest and recovery is being recognized. Mental health, once a taboo subject, is now a critical component of player well-being, with clubs providing support and resources to their players. In the wake of these tragedies, football has evolved. It has grown, learned and adapted. The beautiful game is now safer, more aware and more compassionate. These advancements in player safety and medical technology, these shifts in attitudes, they all serve as a testament to the lives lost. These advances in safety measures serve as a testament to the lives lost. The memory of these footballers continues to inspire, reminding us of the importance of unity, safety and the love of the game. Their stories are not just of tragedy, but of resilience and change. They've sparked a revolution in how we approach player safety, driving advancements in medical technology and protocols. Their memory serves as a beacon, guiding us toward a future where such incidents become a thing of the past. 
It's a future where every player steps onto the field knowing they're in the safest hands possible. Because no player should ever have to risk their life for the love of the game. Their lives were not in vain. They've inspired a generation of young talents who carry their legacy forward, playing with the same passion and dedication that marked their careers. Today, we remember the heroes of football who left us too soon. Their legacy lives on.